Hello folks, Fluorescent FIFA here for another challenge. Last time I did a bit of a weird one because I played on full assisted controls. As you can see, I won 4 1. I suggest you watch that video and go check that out if you haven't already seen it because I think it was pretty interesting. And I said some things which might have been a bit unexpected. Not controversial, but just uh, some things you probably wouldn't have associated with me if you have been a long term viewer of my channel, so go check that out. Um, right, this one, I first of all need to pick a team. We do this random as always, but it probably needs to be, especially in the quarterfinals at this time, probably needs to be at least two and a half to three stars. We are in Portugal, and we are going to end up with whoever they are. I'm not even going to try and say it. Right, we're whoever they are, and we are going back to... The good, the good stuff. We're going back to full manual after last time. Right. Okay. So, I'll just adjust my microphone a little bit. There we go. Um, right, so the challenge for this one is... The Chip Shot Challenge. Very simply, I am only allowed to score by chipping the ball over the goalkeeper. And I'm going to allow myself to do this using the Chip Shot button, which is LB and B. The uh, Rabona, which is LT and X, but only certain players can do that, I think. Or the Scoop Lob, which is a special version of LT and X, but I don't think any of these players will be able to do that. So what I'm saying is I can't chip into an open goal. It has to be with the keeper in the net, and I have to chip the ball over him. In fact, in the last game, I did score a chip shot, but that was using full assisted, which isn't really the point, and I scored three other goals anyway. So, uh, chip shots are an interesting one. Let's see if we can find a game first. Uh, they're not the easiest things in the world to do on manual, uh, as is probably going to become pretty apparent in this game. It might take me a moment to adjust as well, because obviously I'm playing these sort of in a row, so I am literally going straight into this, having just played a game on assisted, so uh, I might find it a bit odd having to direct everything again. We'll see whether or not I can pick up where we left off or not be quite interesting. Who are we going to be against? Who have we got? Who's that? Braga. I think they're four stars, aren't they? This could be tricky. Right. Full manual against assisted. Let's go. So I'm going to have to try and, I don't know, I'm, okay, we'll counter-attack and we'll try and just draw him out. Uh, obviously, one potential major problem with this is if he uh, doesn't bring his keeper out if I get a one-on-one. -on -one, that could be a bit of an issue. Oh, that was dreadful. So, well, chip shots are one of the most useful in certain circumstances types of shot. Uh, they've changed a lot since FIFA 10, which is when I converted to manual. Uh, what the case was on FIFA 10 was chips were really, really easy on FIFA 10, on manual. Um, I think FIFA 10 was around when EA started to sort of take note of what when, when manual became useful in FIFA 10 because of the advent of the sort of 360 degree... Uh, ability to pass the way that you could uh, pass your passes in absolutely any direction. Manual became really sort of useful. Oh, hello. Hello. What a finish. What can I say? I don't, I don't like to come across as big-headed, but that was absolutely incredible. Anyway, as I was saying... <laughs> I sound like such a jerk now. As I was saying, um, manual became sort of big in the uh, in FIFA 10 because of the the 360 uh, de the 360 degrees um, movement that you then had. Obviously, before it was if you played back in FIFA 09 or FIFA 08 or an earlier version, it was you were kind of restricted to 16 directions. There were the the eight directions you could run, going you know up, left, down, right top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. And then when you were sprinting, there was a bit of space in between on those games. But uh, when uh, FIFA 10 
uh, was made, you got the ability to run in 360 degrees. But because that opened up a lot of opportunities for manual uh, without EA really sort of focusing on manual, because to my knowledge, hardly anyone used it on FIFA 09. There were a few people. But because of the limitations of it, it wasn't very appealing back then. Uh, it meant that EA had a bit of uh, a few flaws in the system on FIFA 10 for manual controls, and one of them was chip shots. Chip shots were extremely easy on manual controls in FIFA 10. I remember them. I mean, I remember trying chips on assisted. I remember trying chips on assisted on FIFA 10 because I converted in about February, I think. So I'd had the game for a few months and I'd been playing on assisted, and remember not finding chip shots to be all that reliable on assisted. But when I switched to manual, whenever you got the chance to chip, you just didn't miss because they were so consistent. And there was also the the habit of being able to use the cross button to chip the goalkeeper really reliably. That every single time it would be perfect. And that was a real problem on FIFA 10. They changed it in FIFA 11 because what happened was chip shots became more difficult. And they also modified the cross button so that uh, they knew that you couldn't just do a perfect chip over the keeper every time on manual. It was a flaw of manual controls which was sort of fixed. It can still be used a bit. Uh, they kept the sort of system in FIFA 12 so that it was harder to score, just score ordinary goals using the cross button. Obviously you can do it using Rabonas and stuff, which is, but that's kind of believable, but it's when you could literally just run through and just tap X and it would just dink it perfectly over the keeper. And you could score from all kinds of positions using it. Uh, so it's not as easy anymore, which is why this is quite an interesting uh, challenge obviously I can't believe how uh, how nice the one I actually scored was that was really quite pleasing but the um, but the yeah, the chipping system on FIFA 10 was flawed it's it's fixed now and it's not that easy I haven't scored very many chips on FIFA 12 at all and it's not something I generally try uh, because one-on-ones are quite difficult in general because chip shots aren't the easiest things to, to score uh, I would generally try and um, I would generally try and go round the goalkeeper. That's my most common tactic for one-on-ones. That's what I would normally do. Uh, but uh, chip shots are a little, you know, challenging. They're not as consistent anymore. You can put a fair bit of power on them, and they won't really go anywhere. Uh, sometimes on manual, and I think that, that that was a good change actually. As much as I do love having sort of total control. When something becomes as easy as it was before, it does need modifying. And I think it's it kind of comes back to the debate about certain things on manual. As much fun as manual is, it does enable certain teams to be up much above their ability if you really get the hang of it, because you can play every pass perfect with a half-star team on manual, in theory. Similarly, like just because you're on manual shouldn't mean that every chip shot becomes perfect. Uh, but it's now fixed. Obviously, chipping is, uh, in order to chip, generally, you need to get in a one-on-one -on -one situation. And that's, uh, he's defending quite deep, so it's proving quite difficult. Now, now what do we do? Ah. It's quite difficult. Uh, how do you score a chip from here? He forgot the ball, that wasn't helpful. It was a foul, surely. But uh, do you guys use the chip shot much? This is uh, again, I, I like um, I like on these videos to get your guys' opinions on things and uh, good tackle, fair play to him there. Get your guys' uh, opinions on these things. I mean, do you use the chip shot much? Because it's, it's not something I will generally use all of that much on this game. I've tried it a few times. I think one thing I don't like about it is the way that chips on this um, sort of one of the ways they made it. Oh, that was awful. <laughs> one of the ways they made it harder on this was. Uh, it really seems to take the pace off the ball. I've had a few times when you when you chip the ball over the goalkeeper, and if it clears him, it gives him time to. As long as he doesn't sort of leap in the air and then fall over trying to save it, it gives him the chance to uh, uh, sort of get up and recover, which obviously is a bit unrealistic. I think chips might be a bit too slow. It's difficult to really put uh, some real any. Oh, I mean, obviously. In general, it's not when you when you hit a chip in real life. It's not that easy. Oh, crud! Crud! That's annoying. Now I've got to score another one. It's not that easy to. Uh... What was goalkeeper doing? It's not that easy in real life to put any sort of real pace on the chip, but 
uh, in general, they will sort of go quite slowly on this game. It seems to me like. But uh, do you guys use? Yeah, do you guys use the chip shot much? Is it something you uh, will use often? I just want to see a replay of this because it was just beautiful. Oh, so good. So I'd like to know. I'm not doing very well on possession here. I'm liking the way this guy's playing. Actually, he's been very uh, sort of patient with his passing. He's not going very quickly at all. I don't know what all that skill move nonsense about. But uh, that's nice to see. This happened a couple of times in this uh, throughout this series, playing against people who play with a a nice style. I don't know what that was. It's typical, isn't it? As soon as I talk him up, he does that. How do I get behind him? Because he's defending very deep. Like that. Oh. I've got to draw him out somehow. But this is uh, this was the worry. Was I, I mean, I know I managed to get one, but I haven't had what I would call a sort of proper one-on-one -on -one where I've got real space to run in behind him. And unless I get one, it's going to be a challenge. Unless I can do, I guess I could do a uh, sort of one of the little dinks if I get close in and just do a sort of little dink over him. That's that's possible. But uh, it doesn't help that he's got a better team. It's going to make drawing him out hard. Ah, oh, that was close. That was close. Is my microphone still a bit loud? Hang on. We'll adjust that. So yeah, and uh, yeah, another thing, I, I sort of touched on it, but using the lob pass to score is something which uh, I did in... Oh, went for the Rona. It's something I did in FIFA 10 uh, for quite a while when I first switched to manual because I simply didn't realise it was frowned upon. I got a message, uh, wh what happened was I scored a goal which you know looked like a really good goal on FIFA 10. I still remember this. Uh, it looked great. But the guy I was playing against was a manual player who obviously had been playing for a while. And he said to me that he doesn't play against people who do that. And it was kind of around then that I realised that actually what I was doing was sort of exploiting a real flaw in the game. Now obviously that flaw has been fixed a bit. You will notice sometimes if you go on manual and try and play a chip using X that, uh, as in to score a goal, that he... Uh, hang on. Ah, uh, couldn't get away from him. You'll notice if you do it on man, even on manual, even when you supposedly have total control over the direction, that sometimes if you play uh, a chip using X, that it won't go in the direction you've aimed. And I think the game became aware of that and deliberately tried to stop it, which makes sense because it did reach the point of being a, a real kind of a exploit almost. It's like an unfair advantage. So I'm glad they did that, but some people I know still do it, and it's happened against me a couple of times. I don't, you know, I don't mind it in some circumstances, but I think when it leads to goals that just wouldn't normally happen, when it's an unrealistic way of kicking the ball, I think that's uh, a shame. So that really applies to manual play, obviously unassisted, if you try and, uh, or at least to my knowledge, if you play using assisted or semi-assisted and try and do that. Oh, no, then uh, it won't work, because it'll assume that you're trying to pass it. But that's something I think uh, manual players need to avoid is just using a, a, zip, a, a you know a cross in order to score. Now the thing with uh, Rabonas, the only way you can do a Rabona is using LT and X. It's a deliberate technique. I don't have a problem with people scoring Rabona chips because they're quite difficult to pull off anyway. You know they don't exactly come along very often. And uh, again, it's another thing I'd be interested in your guys' opinions on. Uh, I don't know, you know, it's probably pretty unlikely people have deliberately scored Rabonas against you very often. But what are your views on that? Um, do you think that's acceptable on manual? Uh, I certainly don't have a problem with it. I think, it, you know, if someone pulls it off, then fair play, because they're difficult. You know, they're not, they're nowhere near, if you try and do a Rabona uh, pass as if it was a normal, it's nowhere near as consistent as if you just pressed X on its own instead of adding the sort of uh, extra flair to it, if you want to say, if you want to call it that. Similarly with scoop lobs, if you don't know how to do a scoop lob, you need to be running at a, well, not really running, you need to sort of be jogging, you need to be going at a slow pace, and you hold LT and X, and then pretty much in a straight line in the direction you're running. Blimey. And uh, it will do a sort of, he, he gets his foot under the ball and lifts it over. 
That's another one which I think gets corrected slightly if you play... Uh... Now, how do I... He didn't bring the keeper out. How do I score there? If I've, because the rule is this is the rule I've set is that this is this has to go over the goalkeeper. It's not allowed to just sort of beat him to the side. I need to right. Hang on. Oh no 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 no! I was too busy changing my mentality. Oh, speak of the devil. That would have been a. Uh, that's the wow. I would I would I would have not liked that. <laughs> that would have been awful. <laughs> if he managed to do that, I'd have been sick. Well, now what? Okay, okay, this could work. Yes! Yes! Elvis ain't dead. The king. That was what I was on about earlier, the little dink. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, okay. Let's hold this out. Oh, he doesn't believe it. Oh, don't leave. Don't leave. Come on. Still got seven minutes. Is he just making subs? He's probably just making subs. So, yeah, uh, what was I on about? Sorry, got very distracted. Scoop lobs, I think. Scoop lob is another one which is uh, an interesting one. I've used it on Ultimate Team a few times. You have to use a very uh, high-skilled player to do that. I don't know the exact specifications or stats that you need. I don't know if it's uh, a certain level of skill moves or a certain uh, it's something to do with the flare trait or a certain level of dribble accuracy. It's it's something like that. I'm sure there's a tutorial out there somewhere. But um, that is one. Again, I don't have a problem with that because they're not very reliable. They're difficult to pull off compared to sort of how using the regular X button was on FIFA 10. But again, what are your guys' uh, thoughts? Save it! What are your guys' thoughts on that? Do you use scoop blobs? Because it's, I think it looks, it, it looks really cool. It looks really stylish. And it's not easy to do, so I don't really mind. I'm just going to have to uh, concentrate now on defending for a moment. Why is his name Kill007 as well? Is he a James Bond hater? Um, oh, foul referee, come on. Oy. Penalty referee? Surely? So yeah, your guys' opinions, as always, welcomed uh, on those. Let me know whether or not you use any of those and what your views are on them. I'd be interested... You are joking. I'd be interested to know. And hopefully, whistle referee. Whis oh, that works. And that'll do. That is a victory. I wonder, I wonder what controls he was using. I'd be interested to know that, because he seemed to be... I think at least one of his settings was on manual. I reckon a couple were. Anyways, as always, uh, let me know what you think uh, in the comment below the video. Opinions or questions or whatever would be great. If you have another challenge for me, make sure you leave it in the comment below. I will probably get around to trying it. Don't make it impossible. Uh, it can be silly, but it needs to be... I would like at least some kind of vague chance of doing it. Either that or it just has to be absolutely plain hilarious. Uh, any of those will work. So... This was the chip shot challenge. Rule was, every goal I scored had to be a chip shot which went over the goalkeeper. Challenge passed. I am four out of six on challenges. Three out of five on one set by you. Obviously, one was one I set myself. And uh, that will be that. Make sure you check out the next one as and when it comes. And in the meantime, play manual.